Welcome back with Let's Locals. We're here today to find out more about Beihai Park. This park was built 500 years before the Imperial City. And the Forbidden City is a big and huge Imperial Garden as well, but it's not as well preserved as this one. That's interesting, right? So, as you see, in my back, there's a white pagoda. The white pagoda at my back is the highest and most visible building in the park. At this stop, you will find a symbol of good luck. And also, people here around are strolling around and enjoying their time. This is what we're going to do today as well, to help you find out more about this special spot here in Beijing. So, follow me to find out more. The most important spot in Beihai Park, the Nine Dragons Wall. This wall is an important structure architecture in China. Throughout the old country, you can find around other two walls. One is situated in the Forbidden City, while the other one is in Shanxi Province. But among the, all these walls, this is the most important one. Despite the fact that this wall is called the Nine Dragon Walls, you'll find that all around the structure there are many more dragons. Actually, altogether, it's said that there are around 300 dragons or even more. This wall is very important for the typical Chinese traditional construction. Actually, in the courtyard house, which is one of the most famous among all the different typical structures you have in Beijing, this wall, which is called the screening wall, had the function to block the sight of people outside on the street from the courtyard, the inner courtyard. This way, people inside could benefit of more privacy and people from the outside couldn't see what was going on in the courtyard houses. One of the greatest passions of Emperor Qianlong is calligraphy. Calligraphy is a great and refined art here in China. When one of his ministers brought him on tribute, a masterpiece of calligraphy, he liked it so much that he made it to be inscribed on these stones you see behind, besides me. Actually, the old courtyard house was built to preserve these stones and since it lasted for over centuries, it became part of the heritage of UNESCO. Besides the calligraphy stone carvings, the Emperor Qianlong also built a very special hall, which is called Kuai Xue Tang. Have a look with me. What makes this place even more remarkable is actually the material it's built on. This material is called Golden Nan Mu and uh, it can last for over centuries. It's the reason why this place lasted for so long. Actually, right inside this place, many scholars used to gather together to write calligraphy and uh, to produce inscriptions. This lovely and peaceful place was built by the Emperor Qianlong in 1768 in occasion of his mother's birthday. His mother loved it so much that she often came here to pray for the Buddha. So guys, for today our trip is over. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel Let's Locals if you like the video and to like it. So see you next time for our next adventure. 为什么？